Creating product manuals from your 3D engineering data is extremely easy with SOLIDWORKS Composer. SOLIDWORKS Composer allows you to open a wide variety of native CAD formats. In our case, we'll be working with the SOLIDWORKS assembly. It even supports the configurations created inside of SOLIDWORKS. Once the 3D data has been opened inside of SOLIDWORKS Composer, we can get to work creating the different views for our product manuals. We can change a wide variety of graphic settings, from the grid on the floor to a mirrored surface and shadows. In our case, we'll use a simple white background as we're going to be creating a more traditional image style. We can also change the graphic style of the 3D model itself. For example, a flat technical style or a more traditional silhouette style. We can even change the graphics of individual components to modify them from how they were created in their native format. We want to save each view as they will be our images, in this case a cover image for our documentation. We want to show how to remove the blade from this miter saw assembly. Using the ribbon bar up top, similar to many Windows applications, we can find the tools we need to do this quickly. Here, simple rotational and movement tools make it easy to move this set of components to show them in their new position. The authoring tab provides things such as arrows to call out this action in a graphical format. We'll create one linear arrow and one circular arrow. We can also change a wide variety of properties on these arrows, including their opacity, whether or not they show through other components, as well as size and position. For example, this linear arrow may need to be pulled out of this knob so it appears clearly. We can adjust many of the properties right on the arrows themselves. With the circular arrow, we may need to change the end that the arrowhead is on, as well as a more three-dimensional style. Final tweaks and adjustments can be made to get just the image that we're looking for. Now that we have the arrows how we want them in our view, we may want to call this out, but we don't want to be zoomed so far in. We'll use the powerful digger tool in SOLIDWORKS Composer to do this. It provides a wide variety of different ways of viewing what's underneath it. Choices include an onion skin style, where we can peel away the outer layers of components. An x-ray style, where we can gray out and see through other components. Or in our case, we just want to zoom in on this area of the design. We'll create a static 2D image, which we will use to show this step in this view of the miter saw. This way, when we zoom out, it's almost like a detailed view on an engineering drawing. But it makes it very clear that the knob needs to be adjusted in this case. We can add an arrowhead, or rather a leader, on the detail to make it clearly visible what area is being zoomed in. Now that the view has been created, we want to go through the other steps showing how to get the guard out of the way. We will speed this up so we can get through this process quickly, but the process is exactly the same as what we've already done before, creating graphical elements such as these arrows showing how to remove the appropriate fasteners. We can then create another view showing how we rotate the entire guard assembly out of the way using a variety of tools to manipulate and position the components, including those that need to move relative to other pieces. The goal is to simply adjust and fine tune each view so that it clearly shows each process. The final step in removing the blade is removing the fasteners, collet, and of course the blade itself. Pads are a good way of showing how multiple components interact with each other and where they remove and attach to the overall assembly, making the step in the process clearly understandable. Now that we've created all the views for use in our product manual that we're going to be publishing, we simply need to save the images. The High Resolution Image Workshop gives us detailed control over how each image is saved. In this case, we'll produce high resolution 300 dpi images of each view. Finally, using a documentation tool of choice, such as Microsoft Word, we can publish our final product documentation. As you can see, with very little effort and time, we were able to take our 3D engineering data and create a complete product manual from it. SOLIDWORKS applications provide great capabilities you can use right away for design, simulation, communication, and file management to work faster and make your products better. Explore all the features in the demo library or contact your nearest SOLIDWORKS reseller.